kid, I, I don't mean to alarm you, but we have a situation. Yeah, whatever you do, don't think any thoughts. Zero thoughts. No thoughts. Nada. Zip. Nil. Nit. Thank you. Nothing. Are you clear? Have you cleared your mind? This is very important because, as you can see, we have a situation. Yes, because this book can read your mind and it's giving us a warning and and it, there's a this looks alarming this just is just like it, it's all just problematic colors don't you think oh yeah this is gonna be a problem i mean i i don't want to know all my thoughts all my delicious cookie thoughts <laughs> if this book can read my mind it's gonna know my mind is full of hot cheesy thoughts you talking about pizza you know it <laughs> all right I think we're going to have to um, take a chance. What do you think, Green Bear? Well, nothing's happening yet. Not yet. I, it's probably waiting for us to open it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's probably how you turn this thing on. Oh, this is going to be kind of fun. I mean, I think. I hope. I know. But just, just in case, try to keep your mind as clear as possible because I don't know how this book will react to our thoughts. So, let's find out. No silliness allowed. What? Already, you know there's gonna be a problem. All right, it's very pink in here. Congratulations, you have opened a truly incredible book. This book can do something that has never been achieved before. This book can read your mind. Okay. Is it doing it yet? Anything happening yet? I don't think it's picking up anything. Maybe it doesn't work. Let's see. I'll just switch it on. Oh, it wasn't on yet. Okay, now it's gonna happen. All you need to do is look hard at the book. Okay, like this. Oh, I guess you don't have to frown, but like hard. And try to stay still. Oh, that's gonna be hard also. Don't worry if it's a little bit blurry at first. It will just need a moment or two to focus. Hang on. Okay. Okay, turning it on. The scanning reader is starting to move. There's something happening here. Something's happening here. Something happening? Is something happening? Okay, let's see what happens. Ta da! That's just a big pink blob. Huh. Oh, that kind of looks like my brain. <laughs> There, that's it. Now we are looking inside of your mind, the place where your thoughts actually happen. Isn't that marvelous? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, looks like our brains are just like pink cotton candy, basically. Yum, yum. So now I will just need you to think of something. Oh, okay, now we have to think of something. What are we gonna think about? I, I, I don't know. Are you thinking? Okay, I'm thinking too, but now all I can think of is cotton candy because that's what I see. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. Goodness, I almost forgot. Whoa. Okay, what? One little word of warning. This book is extremely delicate and is particularly sensitive to silliness of any kind. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. I know. <laughs> That's so terrible. A warning. We will be using this dial here to monitor very carefully for any dangerous levels of silliness. But it will be quite all right because we have heard that you are actually very sensible and not at all silly. <laughs> Where do you hear that? Uh, maybe you think of somebody else. Maybe. You will be sensible, won't you? Um, yes? Whatever you do, just please make sure you don't think of anything silly. <laughs> okay. You know, like a, a pink elephant. A pink elephant? Um, bling. Well, I mean, he said pink elephant. What were we supposed to think? When you say pink elephant, don't you immediately think pink elephant? Do you think he's mad? Okay, this is saying hang on a minute. Okay, he's, we've definitely all thought of a pink elephant. Okay. No, 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 you don't understand. I said don't think of pink elephants. Did he say elephants? I believe he did, Green Bear. Hang on, no, not elephants. I meant 
red elephant. Just, just the one of them, you know. For you to stop thinking about. Oh no! Oh no! The meter's saying unwise. 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 Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry. Deary me, couldn't you just have tried to think of something smaller at least? Like a nice little mouse? Is that really too much to ask? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I know a guy. <laughs> Though on second thought, maybe, maybe not a mouse. What with all these elephants about, that would be a, a terrible idea. You really shouldn't. But you said a mouse and then a white rat showed up and I see. Stampede, 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 panic, 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 panic. You did, okay, right. We can deal with this. Do not panic. I'm cool, I'm cool, but you are too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all, we got it all under control. <laughs> it's just a mouse. There's really no need for us to make a song and a dance about it. Not ideal. A song and a dance. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Do you know that I might be thinking the same thing? Are you thinking a little song, a little dance? Wait a minute! Hello, my baby! Hello, my darling! Hello, my ragtime girl! Are you doing this on purpose? What? No, we would never! You are, aren't you? So, if I say there are to be strictly no elephants gallivanting about, such a good word, gallivanting about on unicycles or, or playing the tuba, you're just gonna go right ahead and think of it, aren't you? Far from acceptable. Even the mouse is dancing. Why? What? I mean, would you think about an elephant gallivanting about on a unicycle or playing a tuba? I mean, that's just, that's just crazy. We would never think of that, would we? Please, you must stop the silliness. Mind you, these elephants couldn't possibly get any sillier unless they were wearing... Wait, wait, wait! No, wait, I didn't say it. I did not say it. Say it! Uh, no, no, please, don't do it. Not silly underpants. Silly underpants! Oh, will you please behave? <clears throat> I don't know, maybe. Hmm? Children will be reading this book. <gasps> for goodness sake, you're right there. We cannot afford for it to be rude at all in any way. I insist that you are not. I repeat, not going to think of anything further rudeness. Simmer down now, simmer down now. I especially not anything about elephants and their behinds, and that is an order. I, I know, I wouldn't, I would never. I mean, I think it's just great that they're just playing the tuba in underpants on unicycle. What's happening? Did somebody think a thought? Why? Why me? What have I done to deserve this? <gasps> Not only are we seeing them in their underpants on unicycles, unicycles playing tubas, but now we're looking at their butts and they are farting. They are farting. Green bear. <gasps> yes. Who thought about them tooting? from their butts. Who, who was that? No, it wasn't me. Uh, no, no, I would, I would never, <laughs> I would never <laughs> think about farting elephants. <laughs> I think we know who's responsible for that visual. And, oh, poor mouse. Looks like he's about to pass out from all the <clears throat> You've gone too far this time. It's going to explode. Quite entirely outrageous. <laughs> Watch out! Boom! Oh, the 
book exploded, our thoughts were too big and airy. It's your fault, Green Bear. Hmm. Or maybe ours a little bit too. Let's see what happens next. Just look at what you did. What? You have exploded this book. That is it. Put this book down right now. You are never allowed to open this book again. What? Yes, you. Me? You know who I am talking about. Uh, it must be, it's you. It's talking about you for sure. Never again. Don't even think about it. Ouch. Can we, um, do you think I could at least flip it the next page just to make sure the book is done? Because I don't know. I don't know what, I mean, he's, he said never again. But you know what? He said that about you, not me. So I'll just go on. I mean, you would, and would you? Oh, I wouldn't, would I? Um, so apparently our thoughts are a little bit explosive and a little bit airy, and maybe we didn't exactly follow the directions of the scientist. And now he's mad! He's a mad scientist! <laughs> the book read my mind. It was totally my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I pretty much figured that that was the case. Oh, oh, is it too late? Is it too late? Oh! Witch Jefferson, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, I read that this book can read your mind, so I have thoughts. Dark, inky, spider-filled, batty thoughts. No, you know what, it's too late. The book is closed, they locked it up, it exploded, so we're done. Mm, can, can you fix it? No, I can't, I can't. Oh, just when I was excited about something, you have to go ruin it for me, like you ruin everything. Oh. <clears throat> we don't want to know what's going on in that three-horned brain at all. All right, kid. See you next time on K Time Story Time, and uh, I hope that you love this book as much as I did. I loved it so much. I wanna, I wanna watch. Can we play it again? Can we watch it again? Can we read it again? As a matter of fact, that's as easy as a little rewind away. So I'll see you next time, or maybe I'll see you right now. If you play us again, whoa!